Hello friends and welcome back to my channel you guys. Thank you for the love on my powder room makeover. I am just blown away you guys. You are the nicest people and it's just so kind. You know, some of you were asking, can I call you friend? Like, yes, please call me friend you guys. That's what this is all about for me. It's just making that connection in that community with you guys. Like, you know, I have been doing YouTube for a while many years here and there and off and on and um recently came back to do home decor because it's my true passion and i love it so much i think that's evident and i just didn't really have a community and then just recently i feel like that has been building and you guys are just the best like i could cry you're just like so so nice and it's something that i've actually been praying for so i just wanted to come on and just say thank you so very much because truly every comment i read and just like it just makes me so happy that you know something i was longing for it's just it just feels like it's been answered and in just a beautiful beautiful way you guys are beautiful people so i just appreciate it so so much so anyways you guys the bathroom is done and that just it's just launching me i'm like ready to go for the next makeover so if you don't know what i'm talking about we just completely redid the powder room of my downstairs it's a teeny tiny space and i just dove into that moodiness and you guys loved it and i love it and my kids now love it they didn't like going in that bathroom because the fan is so loud and now they are always in there and i know that because i have to rechange the toilet paper down there a lot more often now anyways so now i am ready for the second phase the second phase all right so now i'm ready for a another space now obviously this isn't a room makeover space today by the title you can probably tell that but i want to do the living room so that will be the next space i want to do and i have great ideas not like i have great ideas i have grand ideas of wanting to build two bookcases beside the mantle in the fireplace there and i need to have decor to fill it i know that i'm gonna get busy with the building and the painting and all that stuff and then all of a sudden it's gonna be time to decorate and i'm gonna have nothing so i'm trying to be smarter about that this time around and kind of start thrifting first also you can probably tell i got sick i had probably was just doing too much you know we moved we had a ton of stuff going on we had to pay for all these things we weren't expecting and that was a little bit of a stressor and then just recently you know we had christmas and new year's and then i had two of my son's birthday parties and then i was getting the house together like crazy which was just for fun it wasn't serious my son had no idea i was doing that series so it had nothing actually to do with his friends and family they are lovely people but i probably just did too much and then my son got a fever and then i got like in bed for two days just horrible headache fever not fun so i have no energy still i'm kind of building that back up to even do a woodworking project so i figured i would give myself some time by going thrifting oh my gosh like poor me i have to go thrifting that way i have more time because i was supposed to get the wood but i was in bed sick this weekend and so now that gives me some more time to get my supplies and then we can start the living room makeover i'm so excited so in the meantime i went thrifting and i thought i would show you guys what i found again keeping in mind that i'm trying to find items to style those bookshelves as well as just areas in my house i feel like the more that i'm doing this the more i realize that the little details matter so i said that in the bathroom we're like changing out the toilet flusher thing does anybody know what it's called changing out that thing makes all the difference and um you know it's it's just going that extra little bit all that being said let's go ahead and jump into this I actually thrifted about a week ago I went with my kids my girls and my son Harvey who's two and I was just like let's just go let's just go check out the local thrift stores and see what's out there and so we hit up about three or four and honestly I felt like I did really really well I will say there is no footage of us in the stores because 99% of the time I have a toddler on my hip so it's like physically impossible for me to be filming anything so I don't have that I'm just gonna show you what I got but I got some good pieces so I wanted to share so at one of the thrift stores I found this cute little brown basket you guys if you know me at all you know that I love baskets I have used every single one that I have shown you guys okay so there's something to be said for that and I did just make a reel about what I do with all my baskets if you want to see that a bunch of you followed me on Instagram so thank you so much and you guys are sending me some more love over there so I appreciate it but anyways this is just a beautiful color I really love when it has handles as well I just feel like it's another element and even if you didn't like that you could totally cut those off and it would just be a really cute basket so at first I thought I would keep it downstairs for the mail but then I actually ended up putting it in the hutch in the bathroom that we just put up there and it looks really really cute in there so love that and then I found this little this was like two dollars I think maybe a dollar I don't even know 
And then this I found for 75 cents and I wasn't gonna get it at first, but I was just like, you know what? Like, no, this is what you're looking for. Like when you stack some books on a shelf or something like that, you just need something else to kind of elevate it. So it was 75 cents and it's probably vintage. I don't know. It looks old. I don't know what it would have been used for. For some reason, it just makes me think of pennies and I just wanna put all my pennies in it, but I don't have any pennies, so. For now it's just empty <laughs> but this also went into the bathroom 75 cents so that was just at the one thrift store and then the other one i did really well for decor so i found this amber bottle it's obviously brand new they had a bunch of them so somebody must have donated them you know how you kind of like goodwill now gets like target stuff i don't know if you've ever seen that anyway so this was two dollars and i'm gonna probably take this part off and just have a pretty brown bottle either on the shelf or maybe add some stems to it or something like that but i just really like the color i'm going for moody again in the living room shocker i know i would say not as crazy dark but who knows what's gonna end up happening i still have to pick my paint color um but anyways that was two dollars and then this was four dollars not something i would normally pick up but again i'm trying to think decor and um this is pretty i might kind of give it some other color to it i'm not sure like i like the gray but it might end up being too bright for what i want so i've seen stuff where like you know, you can do the painting with the um, baking soda. I've done that a bunch, or maybe even like people rub dirt on it. I don't know, <laughs> we're gonna see, but I just thought that was a unique little piece. And again, would fill up the space really well. And I'm not trying to fill it up with junk. Like I wanna find stuff that I actually like. And over time, this might be something where, you know, I go antiquing and I find like actual pieces that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I swap it out, but I only spent $4 on this. And it's solid too, like this is actually nice. So don't be afraid to like have kind of like filler decor because you can also resell that too or give it away to friends if you want to until you find those like treasure pieces. Do you know what I mean? So then I found this is a beautiful, it's actually green. It's coming up, I think blackish on camera, but it's green, that beautiful emeraldish green dark color. And this is $3. Just again, another pretty vase that would go with the books because these bookshelves, I'm gonna have two of them and they're gonna be stacked very high. So I'm going to need multiple items. So again, a great way to start out is by just starting with thrifted items. This was all at one store. I was so, so happy. So then <laughs> baskets. Again, I have more baskets at this place. You can already see there's a big one. Maybe should I start with the big one? So I, well, no, I found this one first. So it's almost like a mini version of the one I'm gonna show you. And this, I didn't know what I was gonna use it for, but I had literally run out of baskets in my house and there were multiple things this week that I was like, oh, I'm organizing this and I wanna have basket for this and I didn't so I was like if I find baskets I'm getting them I ended up using this in my kitchen on top of our uh, freezer fridge whatever to hold like our bananas and our mangoes and cantaloupe and that kind of thing so right now it's holding fruit it might not do that forever but I really like it because I don't know why I just don't like seeing fruit on my counter is that weird I don't like the bowls of fruit and this I like because it's to the it's like tucked away and we don't forget about it I can still see that there's fruit in it but i can't see the fruit is that really odd i'm sorry anyways this was i think two dollars and then i've been looking for one of these because we just have cheap cheap plastic target laundry baskets like square ones we have two of them for our laundry and they just break so easily so i found this beauty with handles even because a lot of times i find these i don't think that they have handles for six dollars and they had an entire stack of them but they didn't have handles. This was, I think, the only one that had handles for $6. So I've been using this for my laundry now and it just makes laundry so much more enjoyable. I love it so very much and just the color too. I like that it's lighter. I would love to find one of these in like that darker primitive color as well, maybe as like an accessory in the bathroom or maybe even in the bathroom. I don't know. Anyways, that's here, neither here nor there. Just a thought that I had and I wanted to share with you guys. But Brad was like, go back and get a second one because we like to keep one laundry basket upstairs in our closet. That's where everybody puts their clothes and then one in the laundry room. So when we're switching over from washer, dryer, blah, blah, blah. So I might need to go back if they still had them because they had like 10 of these baskets, but $6, they might be gone because it was a great, great price. Okay, if you guys are thrifters, then you will know what thrift regret is. And that is when you see something and your stronger sense of will says, no, I don't need this right now. And so you leave it. And then you think about it and you're like, why did I leave it? And maybe you go back again and it's gone. And you're just like, no, like everybody's got that one piece where they're like, why didn't I just buy that? Anyways, I went to that thrift store. I got all those things. It was awesome. And I'd seen this little pot there. And if you've seen my kitchen renovation video of the shelves, I did open shelving in my kitchen. It looks so good. And I mainly did whites, but I had a couple little brown items on the go brown picture frame and a brown, what's it called? Cutting board, kind of serving tray thing. And it just added like a little bit of color. 
And I've been staring at that wall being like, it's just a lot of white, which I actually really, really love. But because I have those two little elements of brown, it just felt like it needed one more. So I saw this pot there, but I left it. Cause I was like, oh, it's $15. Like, I don't know if I need that. I ended up going home and having to run out for, oh, for a desk for Emma's birthday. Lala, this is all too much, I'm sorry guys. But I ended up getting a desk for Emma's birthday and it was right next to this thrift store. And I'm like, I need to go back and just look at it again and just see. So I went in and they still had it. And I just was like, something about this is calling my name. It is pottery. It is from West Bend, which I looked it up and apparently this is like a bean pot from the 1950s, but it's just super, super cute. It's just a little brown pot and I may never use it. It might just sit on my shelf as decor, but I put it on the shelf and I was like, like that was exactly what was missing. So it looks so good up there and I love it so much and it's just so cute. And this is a really random mom and I'm sorry, but not that she probably will watch this, but she loves beans. <laughs> and so when I bought this, I was like, thought of you mom, you and your beans. But anyways, I just thought that that was, it's just cute. Like it's just, you know, the little round littleness of it all. And it's just little stumpy. I don't know. It just feels like it has a, persona to it for some reason i don't know i just loved it so i got it and i just i don't regret it okay so that was it from that thrift store and then how i told you guys i found an antique desk for my son for his birthday they also had just a couple random little knickknacks it's like a second hand furniture store that benefits um pregnant women in crisis which i just thought was beautiful and that's also why i wanted to get the desk from there because i wanted to support that but they also had two frames and the frames are older but they're not vintage and the pictures inside were just to me they just were beautiful and they're probably just prints like I think they were just printed I don't I don't know I haven't opened them or anything like that I don't know exactly I, I mean they're not original I'm sure about that but the images were just so beautiful I ended up putting them already in the bathroom in the hutch and I will show you guys but one is just a young girl being washed by probably her maid I think it is and then the other one is of a woman like putting on her shoelaces, but she's, it's an, it's just older images from just a different period of time. And I just thought that they were really beautiful. And so I hung those in the bathroom in the hutch and they just look so perfect. Like they're always meant to go there. And so I really, really am glad that I grabbed those. Again, that would have been a thrifting regret and I'm, I'm glad that I got them. So that was all one day. That was all one day. And that was just two shops is what I said. Like really really good it was just i had so much fun with the girls i hadn't been thrifting in forever and it just felt good to get out again and then it just felt good to be like oh my gosh i found so many great things at such a great price like how much did i pay like besides you know 15 20, like under 30 bucks i think i don't know my math if you guys want to add that up for all of that stuff like i you can buy one decor piece for 30 dollars. so thrifting is the way to go you guys and obviously you believe that because you're watching this video and then i just want to share this i did not thrift this but my son just had his birthday like i said he turned nine and my sister got him this for all of his trinkets because she said when she was little she liked to have something to hold all of her special stuff in i was like yeah he ha he has a little special thing so it's lined with uh red velvet well maroon almost and it's really old and someone commented and said it's called a cricket box so apparently most of them that you'll find they have holes in the side of them and i don't know if they would actually Put crickets in them or not but anyways i just thought that that was fun there's no markings or anything but it's just so pretty i, I like shrieked when my son opened the, when my son opened up his present i was like oh my gosh that's the cutest thing ever if you don't want it i'll take it he loves it so it's fine but i mean it matches my decor so that's cool so that was all from a week ago and then i did quickly run out again today because i just needed to get out of the house like i said my son had a fever uh first and that's who i got it from and he's two and he's just been needing his mama hardcore he always needs his mama like ever since he's born needs me all the time and i get that totally get that but he really really needed me these past couple days and i you know just haven't been feeling great either and so i was like we need a change of scenery we've been stuck in this house for like five days i don't even know what day it is four days maybe and so we went thrifting as one does so anyways i went out like i said with the intention of finding some bookshelf stuff so i didn't find much but what i did find it's gonna be helpful i found this book called a good year I don't know if it's um, any good or not, but I just liked it because it has the fleur de lis and I just like the color of the book. So I thought that would be good for styling. It was a dollar, so I'm not gonna say no, or even if I wanted to, I could have the maroon showing if I wanted to. So that was a dollar. And then I also found Time America and Illustrated History, which I just thought my son would really like, but also again, just as a book on the bookshelf. The blue is pretty or as a coffee table book that would be really really nice as well so i can't beat a dollar books i did check at my local goodwill 
but my local Goodwill that's new to me now has nothing in it. Like literally, it has like five scattered toys, like 10 dishes, like nothing. That's mainly just clothes, so I, I don't do too well there. So back to that thrift store though. So I just got those two books today, and then I also found this, which I have never in my life seen anything like this, and it is a little photo file holder, so you can put your pictures in. How cute is that? And I was thinking I could put the Instax pictures in. You know, you take with your Instax camera, and if I had to like cut them down a little bit, they might even fit, I'm not quite sure. But obviously this would have been for like older photos, but it was $2.50, and it was brass, and so I just thought that would be so cute on the shelf as decor the only thing i don't love though is that like when it's sitting you can't really see it like this is what i really really love i almost wish that they had done the tilt a little more tilted sorry i keep looking at myself so i can like see what i'm doing but yeah that's the only thing i'm like i really wish i could see more of that so i might put it on like a higher shelf and then we could appreciate it but then you wouldn't see the pictures so i don't know but i just thought that that was really pretty and it's you know the color that i like so Anyways, you guys, I think that that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun. It's nice to just kind of like take a breath. Not that the, the bathroom, honestly, it was a really easy makeover, you guys, for me. I stretched it out for you guys because I wanted to give myself time to start the bookshelf so I could be ahead of schedule. But the birthdays just threw me off and the sickness just threw me off. And so, I mean, it still worked out for me. It still was, I was able to kind of chill for a couple weeks which was really really nice but honestly you guys could do that project in like a weekend like it was i mean it was small my bathroom's smaller if yours isn't but don't be afraid you guys to try diy that's what i do this too is like i hope you guys feel and so many of you have said that too that you feel inspired and confident to try it yourself like that means the world to me because 99 percent of the time i'm doing something i've never done before the wallpaper i've never done it before i've changed out a sink faucet once before and but that's the thing too is like once you do things, you realize like, oh, like this stuff actually isn't that difficult. Yes, there are multiple times where I've run into things where I'm like, oh shoot, but everything's fixable. And I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm like, if I can try something myself first and then I mess it up and I need to pay someone, like I'd rather have tried it and maybe learned something. There was also a really cool quote I heard the other day that said, oh shoot, it was so good. What was it? Something along the lines of, if you have to try again, you're no longer starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. Like if you try to wallpaper a wall and it goes horribly wrong in your opinion, don't be afraid to try again because the second time you do it, like you'll have learned something from that and then you just get better and better. Even my husband the other day was like, you've gotten so much better at wall molding or he said, you're really good at wall molding. And I said, oh, thanks. Like it's because I've done it three times now, four times now, maybe, maybe four which might not seem like a lot, but each time I've learned something new that's kind of helped me get better and better and better and better. So I don't know, that's just how I see it. So anyways, you guys, don't be afraid to try new stuff. Don't be afraid to go thrifting, it's so much fun. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 2 p.m. where we will, God willing, hopefully be starting the living room makeover. It's going to be so good, you guys. I can already see it in my mind and that's why I'm like, I just wanna like transform it because it's gonna be so good, okay. Thank you as always for watching, you guys. You are the absolute best. Give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave a comment. It really helps the algorithm. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.